Hello, AP Latin students, how are you? Hey, this is Mr. Yagi back with my seventh prediction for the 2023 APLAT exam. And it is just in a few days. I hope that you are uh, reviewing and reviewing like mad. Now, I'm sure you've got some other AP exams going on today. In fact, I think uh, Lang and Comp maybe is today. Um, I know my students, we are basically done reviewing the Aeneid and we're transitioning into looking at some De Bella Gallico in class, the, the students that I see in class anyway, because we've got a bunch of them taking exams. So this is a last Aeneid prediction. Now, the De Bella Gallico is a little harder because there's not the, the big history of the De Bella Gallico with the AP curriculum, but, uh, but let's focus on this book six prediction here, this final prediction for the Aeneid, and it is towards the end of book six, it is 854 to about 866. Um, this thing, believe it or not, has never appeared on a published exam. It has never appeared in, in the history of, of the AP Latin exam, which is remarkable considering, one, it is a speech. Two, it gets at the very heart of why Virgil wrote this thing, which was as, as propaganda for Augustus, at least that's why Augustus paid him to do it. Uh, but more pragmatically, more practically, there are just any number of questions, any number of points that the AP could ask you to clarify and define and translate and, and explain in this speech. Uh, and so we have Anchises talking to Aeneas in the underworld, we see things like uh, Marcellus, looking at Marcellus. Um, who is that, right? Who is this person that we're talking about? What are the spolia opima that we're talking about? Um, we have a, a very classic uh, ablative of, of specification, respect, so remarkable in terms of, remarkable in regards to his spolia opima, that kind of thing. We have figures of speech here, rectorque virus, super eminent omnes. We got that alliteration of the 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 wo 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 sounds and the r sounds and the s sounds there in 856. Uh, we have identification, cultural identification questions. What, what do we mean by poinos? Who are the poini? Uh, who are those uh, crazy Carthaginians? Um, boy, what tense is sternet? They're just any number. Uh, and of course, suspend it as well. Um, any number of of grammatical identification, cultural identification. Uh, boy, this I think would be a very difficult translation. But you know, uh, let's not put it past uh, the College Board to put this on there. And then again, it's just a speech. So all of those things are are great fodder for an essay. All of these things are great fodder for short answer for multiple choice. And so I want you to be ready to answer any question that would come your way, including a translation prompt for 854 to 866. Good luck on the APLAT exam, everybody. Bye-bye.